Now I'm gonna guess, right, that at least one person out here is curious how the bone versions of the 350s match up with each other or whatever. So I got this video here, right, I'm gonna get in there real close like, cause that way I don't have to describe it to you, you can see it for yourself, right? So there you go, bam, right in there. What's going on people? So I'm doing all my last Yeezy recording for today. So getting these finally done several months later whatever and if you're gonna ask like how i felt about the whole yeezy thing and whatever beginning of the video that i did two videos ago it's all there watch that if you don't care enough to go back and watch that well then you didn't care enough to ask the question so think about that next time either way here's the thing on the side of the box that's what we're here to talk about right cool so got that little picture out of the way and i think this one should be like pretty quick and pretty painless because i mean it's feels that way. It's a small box, right? It's not a whole lot going on. I don't know why I didn't take them out of the box before the review started. Normally I do that, but now you got to sit through some extra noise while I ramble on some things. So I'll cover this. That right there is a receipt. It came from sneakers and stuff because, well, I bought a lot of my Yeezys from sneakers and stuff, right? Like a lot of them. I think, who was it also? Well, gosh, yeah. I also got a lot of them from Well Gosh as well. And I think there's some of them came from End here and there, but but yeah, it's I've won sneakers and stuff raffles pretty often. So anyway, now that you know where these came from, for the people who sometimes ask that, which I, I don't get it, because like somebody asked like in the one like a while ago, like hey, where'd you get the Yeezys? And it's like for one, it's said in the video, and two, this video is like years old so like they're like likely not there anymore and four thirds there were several Yeezys in that particular video I assume they're talking about the main one but there's like five it's like be at least a little specific sometimes either way let's go ahead and talk about these things right here because this is what we have to talk about here this this right here is the Adidas Yeezy 350 V2 compact in the slate bone colorway. Yeah, pretty sure that's right. There's a lot of words in these titles and like when you're kind of out of practice and you're saying them, it all sounds like a jumbled mess. It really does. It's like, is, is this really all necessary? Let's go ahead and knock this thing out, huh? Down there on the bottom, right? What you're looking at down there is an outsole that looks like probably every other 350 you've seen. And color-wise, it probably looks like a lot of 350s you've seen because they don't really change it a whole lot, let's be honest. Now, moving along past that, because that's enough, up here, this shoe does have a midsole, right? So there you go, there it is for you, right? And what do you know, it happens to look just like the bottom did. No surprises there. And even on this one, when you flip around to the back, sometimes back there, you kind of have a slight change. This one, it's pretty seamless across the board, right? So. That's different. <clears throat> so, now that we got that out of the way, slip some other pictures in there and whatnot so you can see these things. Unfortunately, the way these things look in pictures when you're not wearing them is just god-awful, right? They're all just flat and deflated looking like a sad tire, I don't know. But either way, they don't look great in these pictures, but just trust me, like, they look better once you actually wear them and whatever, but that part of the video is like, at least a few minutes from now right so come back to that part if you want to or just i don't know do whatever either way so here's the thing i'm gonna get on in here we're gonna talk about all the things because even though i've covered one of these before in pretty good detail at least by my standards it's been a while for one and this is the last one i'll be doing so why not give it the full treatment toe box area right down here what you're looking at you don't have as wide of a variety color as you did last time. Well, that was only two colors, but this is like white and slightly different white. So you got that happening, right? And you can kind of see it. You can kind of make it out for yourself. And then as I was saying before on the last one, I would assume because I'm feeling the same way now. On the side here, you got these raised up pieces, which it's just, it's just a weird look. It really is. It makes it look like it's got some sort of weird disease going on. And then as you get towards the middle area, you got that piece where it's kind of like some gray in there, so that's cool, right? Switches it up just a little bit. 
you might look at that and think like, oh, is that part like kind of like a window from a standard 350? So it's going to be like thinner there. It is not. It is not. Now, moving along past all that good stuff, back to the last third or so of the shoe. So back here, you got the same sort of style that you have on a lot of the 350s or whatever. And in the case of these, there's not a whole lot of a different stitching pattern like you often have, but it's just going to be the standard white. And that's pretty much that. Moving on up just a little bit above that we'll talk about it now this is pretty stretchy like this here sock liner piece so i do like that again I, when i was talking about those 700s i wish they had done something slightly different with those because that's really the only downside to those in my opinion i mean some of them look terrible too but color wise but construction wise this this part right here this is a winner on these though but we'll come back to it in a second first off well, not first off, because we're like deeper into the video than the beginning. Over here, lacing, right? So these laces that they give you, they don't give you any extra laces on these, unless I just didn't notice them, which is totally possible. If you saw that heirloom video, you know I can definitely like not notice some laces. But either way, the laces here, the the standard 350 style, <clears throat> but they do have the infinity lacing thing. So at some point that wasn't a standard thing but then they got really deep into it i'm not a huge fan in, in a way just because it just seems weird but you know i don't really tie and untie these anyway so it doesn't matter but i do like the laces themselves just i just like the thickness of them i think they just work you know and behind that under here this part where like the stitching is a little different super padded right there like it's crazy how this how good this thing feels you know what i'm saying but in case you're curious like this part and it stretches out just a little bit you know what i'm saying when you're when you're wearing it so moving back over here just jump down onto the inside right so first up this top sock liner area like i was saying very stretchy and all that good stuff similar to what you just saw on the tongue very padded up here on the front piece not as much on the back piece, but it's kind of unnecessary back there. It is nice and soft though. So if you're one of those like people that wears low socks or whatever, and this is going to be like rubbing up on your ankle, it won't be a bother like it would be on certain other things. So let's move on, jump down on here, see what's going on on the inside. So there you have that. It says Yeezy and it's got the little Yeezy, the Adidas pyramid side of the logo going on, like the three, the three stripes, you know? And then as you get past that down into there, the rest of it is just like your standard stuff or whatever. So much like other prime knit shoes, you're just gonna have like a lot of knitted stuff going on. And if you're looking for pictures of the inside, I am not even gonna bother trying to do that because looking in here now, it's not worth it. Just imagine this piece all throughout here because it's all just very much white in there. But it is super nice, you know, cushiony wise and all that good stuff. But more on that in a moment once we do like the actual sizing but can't just jump right to that got to do the whole personal thoughts piece because you know that's the second chapter of the video that's just how it works you know what i'm saying so personal thoughts and whatnot personally i think that these are pretty all right as a model this particular colorway leaves a lot to be desired right because it's just not all that great in my opinion now if this is a shoe that you're looking for or whatever, like, I'm not going to say it looks bad necessarily. Like, if you're needing something kind of plainish or whatever, I get it. It's just in the grand scheme of things, personally, like, I tend to like things with at least a little bit more color to them. But you can't really go wrong with these because they're not bad. And they are definitely going to be super wearable because of, you know, again, the color scheme. It just matches up with a lot of stuff. So there is that piece of it. And now, knowing what I know about how these look and how they look better when you actually wear them, like that was a deal breaker. Well, not a deal breaker, but it made me look down on them at first. Nowadays, I look at it and I'm like, okay, I see what's going on there. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm just kind of take it for what it is. But at the same time, what does it matter? It's because they don't make them anymore. But I will say, wrapping this whole thing up to kind of put a nice little bow on it or whatever, the look of these, not great. If they make them in the right color, then they look better, especially once you actually wear them. But I'll see how these look actually worn soon because I honestly have no idea. I've never actually had my foot in these. Now, moving along past all that good stuff, right? And going on to the sizing and all that, comfort and whatever. 
that's what you guys are largely here for. So let's just go ahead and do that, huh? Sizing wise, I went with a size nine and a half. And I know a lot of people always talk about the Yeezys and the 350 specifically going up half size or whole size, blah, blah, blah. These have a different build, right? So even though I have a size nine and a half foot, I get where people are coming from with like the whole sizing thing, but these, it's a lot more forgiving, really. It just is like, they're not so restricted in the movement of your feet and all that good stuff. They just feel more sock-like than the previous ones did, right? So I would say like wearing these as a nine and a half feels actually better than wearing the other ones just because for one, the upper feels better. Like I was saying, it's got all this extra padding everywhere, you know? So all that same cushiness that people are used to in like the midsole and uh, oh yeah, they're so soft and all this and all that. You kind of have that same feeling, but like on the upper, like on around the rest of your foot. So to me, this is like the 350 model wise, right? Because it gives like all the comfort. Unfortunately, the thing that kind of loses some points is the look itself, right? Because they only had so many 350 compact models and they have like a plethora of standard 350s. So do, I haven't seen a single, well, I've seen some really bad 350s. So some of these do look better than some 350s, but overall, for the most part, if you're looking for looks, then the standard 350s are the way to go. But these right here, you, I wouldn't be mad at wearing these all day at all. And I actually just did last week with the red pair. So this here all in all like if you're going to be wearing these going out doing your errands for the day going out to bush gardens or wherever you hang out yeah this is going to be pretty solid they're even fairly breathable too like they wouldn't look like it in a way but they are so this these definitely get a thumbs up from me i just wish they had a better color selection before they stopped making them but you know no point in complaining about it now right what's it going to change so anyways there's that, that's enough of showing these, talking about stuff or whatever, because I have one more thing to do, which is an actual standard 350. That's what we're closing the day with. So, from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'm gonna go do that review I just talked about, and I think I might possibly, nah, I don't know. I, don't know. I was thinking about doing a little live thing later, but I don't know if I'll have time in the day for that, because I gotta go pick up some fours from a mall or something. So, it's a busy day over here, people. Busy day. Later, people.